Welcome back everyone to another Truxton NRG, the Tire Plans Space Shooter Double Hard Classic, released in 1988 on the arcade of course, and this is the Mega Drive slash Genesis version, released in Japan in 1989 and to the rest of the world in 1990, so two years before the PC Engine version. And um, it's a good version, it is a good version. I always say when uh, when you get Tire Plan shoot em ups uh, converted to um, home systems, consoles in particular, they've got to retain that tire plan feel. There is a certain uh, nuance to the way a tire plan shooter plays and feels and sounds and looks of course and the Mega Drive captures that rather well. Um, it doesn't quite capture the audio uh, the audio in in intricacies I would say. Um, it's, it does a good job, I must admit it does a good job, the, 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 to, for me the music is playing a little bit too fast, the pitch is a little bit too high, it's nice, it's nice tunes, it's, it's the same tunes, of course it is, it's the familiar music that we're used to on this game, but uh, it's something slightly amiss about it, something a little bit tinny, but I can forgive for that, it's, uh, it's a minor quibble. The, the sound is all included of course, and the explosions, sounds and lasers and all that are very very good. Uh, movement, again, fantastic. It's what you'd expect of the Mega Drive. Um, I wouldn't. I, I, I know it's not as silky smooth as the original arcade, uh, and that helps it in a way. It actually makes it a little bit more playable, and playable in the fact that it's a little bit, a little bit easier than the original arcade, and of course the PC Engine version, which for me is the hardest version. Uh, Tatsujin, it's known as on the PC Engine. Uh, love the way the ship changes colour. <laughs> the Mega Drive version. That's kind of nice, cool, cool. Cool addition. Got me a uh, green blast laser, which is probably not the best weapon to have at this point in the game, but here we go. Uh, yeah, the, fr the, the frame rate does skip a little bit now and then, but uh, again, nothing to be too stressed about. Enemies like this are a little bit more easier to sort of handle, he says, is probably going to get killed. Oh, uh, uh, bang, lovely bomb. Not. Uh, yeah, the, the bomb doesn't look quite as spectacular on the Mega Drive version, but it's still got that lovely uh, skull-like feature to it. Died there, didn't I? Let's go again. I like the fact that the uh, the colours are extremely vivid on the Mega Drive version as well. Very vivid colours on the Mega Drive version. It's kind of... it looks a bit prettier um, than the uh, arcade original. I wouldn't say tidier, it's certainly a little bit messier, but uh, prettier as in the colours are more vivid and bold, and there's a little bit more, um, a little bit more contrast between, uh, especially the power-ups there for me, personally. Um, but it's got everything else the game needs, of course. Um, I personally find it, uh, like I said before, easier than the original and certainly the PC Engine version, which is a welcome thing, because I do really enjoy this game, and to make it a little bit easier, especially in easy mode, <laughs> is, um, you know, it's nice to progress through the game at least. Because sometimes you can get very, very frustrated with this game. Love the firepower here on this, uh, on the uh, multiple split original laser. What have we got coming up here? Oh, we've got the base area, the rock base area. Coming up. See, them enemies take a, a, a rather amount less hits uh, on this. And I know I am playing it on easy version, but when you play it on normal, it's this, it's kind of similar. It's a similar story. It, they don't take the enemies don't take um, as many hits to destroy it, which is good. And I'm gonna stick with me triple laser here. A bit more flickery than uh, what we were used to on the arcade. Like I say the sound is good, but like I said, it seems to be missing something. It's not quite on the money for me, but I do like the graphics. I do like the way um, it uh, has, its, has its very nice uh, ho um, horizontal scroll, which uh, of course the original had, but on this, you really do notice it on the Mega Drive version. Damn, I didn't want to get rid of that weapon. These guys coming up are hard. Boom, you have to blow them up. These guys are t tricky guys, but again, not as tricky as they uh, are on the uh, arcade. Oh, I'm going to get him. Yes! I think that's the first time I've got through them three guys, uh, first off the bat. Too many speeds there. Power-up system is exactly the same, but when this time doesn't appear on the screen, it appears a, a nice little HUD on the side, which is a little bit lacking in detail. A bit basic there on the side. Oh, got a shield! Now that's... you don't get that often. In the first level as well, got a shield. Hence why I was saying the Mega Drive version is a little bit more forgiving. I've got the wrong weapon for these guys. That, that totally the wrong weapon. 
really need the green laser for these dudes. Alright, let's see if we can get past this. As soon as we at least get to the boss, to show you the boss, because uh, it is tough so we can get through the first level of Truxton. Like I say, Mega Drive version, a little bit more. I think they might have been thinking about the home market and thinking, you know what? This arcade game is bloody hard, and uh, you stick this in front of a, you know, a young teenager at the time uh, in the 90s, and you think, yeah, they probably won't enjoy it very well when it absolutely kicks their ass. So uh, certainly more approachable, which is good. That shield is a little bit, uh, I was gonna say, a little bit distracting actually. There, it's mean, actually not too bad really once you get used to it. But every time you're firing, that shield is. I mean, it's the same kind of shield that you get with the arcade version, but you get that later on, way later on in the game. So here's the boss. Let's see if we can get through this dude. Probably not. Whoa! No, no, no. See, then, 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 then the hardness turns up a level when you get to the boss, and I very quickly die. Back we go. Starting all slow again. Detail of the ship's very good. The enemy flight is very good. The patterns are very good. Um, they can be learnt, of course. Uh, they are repeated. Every time you go through a certain scenario in a scene, like any decent shoot 'em up, and like I said, more importantly, it does have that important tire plan feel to it. Maybe quite, quite not uh, the fluidness of what you would expect from a tire plan arcade, uh, but it does have the feel. It does have the look, and it certainly has the sound. Uh, if you forgive it, sounding a little bit different. Uh, and that's the, that's the kind way I'm going to say it. But I do enjoy this version of it. I prefer the look and style of the PC Engine version, I've got to admit, but that is way too difficult. Uh, which I've given my criticism on that before. And of course, uh, I think I have to revert to the arcade, even though that isn't the most difficult, as being the best to play. Even though this is a high, highly acclaimed version. And I do recommend it. So there you go. Truxton on the Mega Drive, the Sega Mega Drive, and the Sega Genesis, of course. Thank you for watching this edition of NRG. And I'll see you next time. Nova Bug.